Hello guys, my name is Essien Aken and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a unique approach to frequency separation. Alright, now if you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit the bell notification button and get notified when I drop more videos just like this one. So guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my unique approach to frequency separation. Alright? So when I open up an image, I always go over the entire image and do some basic cleanups, all right? Once I'm done with that, then I move into the frequency separation technique, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the cleanup layer twice, command J, command J, and I'm going to name this textures. And the lower layer, I'm going to name it skin tones okay i'm going to turn off this layer and i'm going to go to filter i'm going to go to noise i'm going to go to median and i'm going to set this to 18 just to blur out the textures okay now i'm going to turn this on Select the texture layer, go to image, go to apply image. I'm going to select a source. Make sure you're selecting the skin tone layer. Okay. I'm going to set this to subtract. Make sure the scale is set to 2, offset 128. Okay. Now I'm going to set the blending mode to linear light. I'm going to group these two layers by holding shift and selecting both of them. Now I'm going to group it, command G, and name it frequency separation. That just helps me keep things more organized. Now with textures, I'm going to duplicate it one time and set it to normal. And then hold command option G to clip it to the textures layer. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same with skin tones. I'm going to duplicate skin tone layer, command J. Okay. And I'm just going to rename this work layer. Okay. All right. Now, once I'm done with that, I'm going to turn this off. And I'll just get an empty layer in between. How frequency separation works is you're splitting the tone layer, okay, and the textures, all right? So you can see it's just the tones here and the textures. So what that means is I can work on the tones separately and work on the textures separately, okay? That gives me a lot of control. I'm going to turn it off. I'm just going to grab a brush, make sure my flow is set to 1%. I'll turn off the textures layer, and I'm just trying to even out the tones, okay? All right, even out the transitions and the colors. I'm going to be evening out the color transition in the tones. Okay, so select sample that layer. I'll sample from the highlights and try and paint over the mid-tones a little bit to really even out those transitions okay so i'm going to go over the entire image and just do that real quick so i'm going to color close by and paint over trans soften the transition to sample i'm just holding option and sampling a color and using it to soften the color transition All right now I'm going to turn back this layer on and um, I'm just looking to even out the tone. So if you see there's a change in tone between this part of her shoulder and this lower part. Okay, I'm going to try to fix that a little bit.
that's looking good. Let me see what that's. Okay, that's better. Before, after, before, after. I'm just gonna go over it a little bit. Up here. Always make sure you zoom in and out to kind of see how things are looking. Perfect. All right. It's looking good. See before, after, before, after. Awesome. That looks good. So now I'm going to merge the correcting tones layer and the work layer. Okay. Option, merge layers. And I'm going to rename this work layer. I'm going to click this layer to the skin tones layer. Command option G. Turn off the textures layer, select my mixer brush, right? Make sure sample all layers is selected. And I'll go from 20 to 27% on all of this. So what I'm trying to do here, my goal here is to even out the transitions more and even out her skin tone, okay? So that's what gives the resemblance of smooth skin. I'm going to go over her shoulders and just even the transition. And um, even her skin tones in the highlights, the shadows, and the mid tones. So, as you can see, I'm reducing my brush and increasing it in some areas just to make sure I fit in, in every area I want to work on. I just don't want to open my brush and paint on everything continuously, no. I'm just gonna make sure I'm fitting to different areas that I wanna work on. So as you can see, I'm evening out her skin tones. Awesome. So what we've done, I love how that's looking already. I'm gonna fix some areas real quick. Okay, perfect. All right, so now once you're done with that, so the next thing you wanna do is go to the textures. And the reason why I do this, I clip this, is so that I can work non-destructively, okay? If I make a mistake on working on the texture, I wanna be able to turn this off or like put a mask on it and erase what I did, okay? That's why I clip this layer, okay? So I'm gonna select clone stamp to make sure current layer is selected. You get to that 100% flow and you can give it some hardness to make sure you're not um, messing up the textures, okay? I'm gonna go in and just try and fix the textures. So here's the pain, this is the painful part. You really wanna go in here and work on these textures. Like there's no shortcut to high-end retouching, unfortunately. So now once you're done with that, what I always like to do is hold down shift, select the texture layers, okay? Option, merge layers, and set it back to linear light. Perfect, all right? Now another thing I'm gonna do is Command J, set this to normal, Command Option G, Okay, and I'm gonna go, cause there's still some textures on here that I don't want, like on her hair, and it's gonna take me forever to remove it. Or some is just gonna be almost impossible to 
um, really clean up. So what I'm going to do is go to filter, go to noise, dust and scratches. I'm going to open the radius to a point where um, her skin is blurred out. Okay, I'm going to bring that down a little bit. I just want to blur out the textures. All right, so now once I'm done doing that, I'm going to start raising the threshold. So what I'm trying to do with this is to make sure I'm only revealing just the amount of textures I want showing on her skin. Okay, it has taken off the textures on her hair. So that's good too. I'm going to raise this up a little bit. About 20. Okay, and that looks good. Let me bring this down a little bit. Just looking to see how everything is looking. Then select OK. I'm going to put a mask, invert it, Command I. And I'll get my paintbrush, set the flow, everything 100%. And I'm just going to paint on the areas I want to reveal this effect on. Okay, so areas like her nose. Skin. Definitely her hair. See how that takes out all the textures in her hair? Okay. I'm going to soften some of the highlights on the face. Let's see the before and the after. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to reduce my flow a little bit. And just reveal some of the areas back. Okay. Awesome. Now, once I'm done doing this, I'm going to group all the layers again. Merge all the layers. And I'm going to set it back to linear light again. Okay. And I'm going to duplicate this, set it to normal, Command Option G to clip it. And now I'm going to go to Filter, go to Add Noise. I just want to add some noise to her skin. This really helps to cover any parts of her skin that might look um, a little blurry. Okay. And it really helps fill in textures in areas that um, they weren't textures. Okay. Now I'm going to go to noise, median, one. Now I'm going to get a mask on, invert it. And I'm just going to paint to reveal on areas of her skin and we'll need the texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to, so I'm going to go to the background layer and I'm going to select a skin. I'm going to go to back to the texture layer, get my brush, and paint over her skin. Okay. Over her head, so it's okay. I'm just going to be very rough first with this and try just try and go over the entire image. Okay. Once I'm done. I'm going to reduce the flow, invert, invert the colors, and now I'm going to hide on certain areas like her lips, her eyes, and I'm just going to look at the areas that just look very bad. 
like this part of her face doesn't need that much um, textures. Wonderful. And usually most of what I've noticed is um, the areas of her skin that wouldn't need as much textures would be shadow areas. You know, it always looks so terrible in shadow areas. Next thing I'm going to do is just bring down the opacity for that to like 60, 70%. 70 percent should be good enough. I'm going to deselect the guide. All right, now let's see before, after. You see the um, noise really adds and fills the um, blurry areas of her skin. Okay, it really makes really brings everything together, right? So once you're done with this, you can now go into uh, the dodge and burn aspect of things and really brighten the areas of um, her skin that needs to be brightened and shape her face, shape her body, okay? Using um, the dodging and burning technique after this, all right? So let's look at the before and after. So this is the frequency separation. This is the before and this is the after. Before after so guys i hope you really enjoyed this video subscribe and hit the bell notification button and get notified when i drop more contents just like this one all right awesome i'll see you in the next one